Okay, I wanted to do a really quick, simple, what part is this, all right? So what you're looking at is the intake manifold for the 03 to 05 Dodge Neon SRT4, all right? So this gets affixed to the front of the block when you're looking down in, in the front of the cylinder head, all right? Just gonna go over this thing really quick. Um, this is what it looks like on the front. This is what it looks like on the back. Um, these are stock ports. This thing's 100% stock. This is the part number, location. And this is vacuum line here. This feeds your brake booster, which also feeds your gauge and your HVAC stuff. Um, there's usually a little tiny bracket down here that bolts right here to your starter. A lot of times that's already missing. All right. So then they have a spacer that has an O-ring and the throttle body is gasketed. You can see the black part in between here. All right. Let's flip this thing over. This right here is your map sensor goes into the inside and it actually reads the pressure inside has a little o-ring there also okay um that's held in by two little screws that are torx bit okay this line here runs off of the intake and goes to your pvc valve which is on top of your engine right here all right now um this spacer here is missing this vacuum port because it was sitting out so it actually rusted off but that port there actually hooks into your evap system and back to the turbo and some of your vacuum lines you can look at your diagram that's on your hood or you can find that online now the sensor that goes here which is not on this intake uh looks like this one okay kind of easy we got multiple intakes but this right here is your idle air control that allows air to go past because your blade shuts this off entirely and that actually controls from one side of the blade to the other so it controls your idle speed usually tries to keep it i think i don't know under a thousand um this right here is your throttle position control sensor there's a spring in here with uh things that tell the computer if your throttle is open or it's closed you can look in here pretty easy closed open closed they are both hold on held on by 10 millimeter bolts that run up through there okay now Right here, this is where your O-rings go for your fuel injectors. They place down into here. This actually still has them in. Need picked out because the fuel injectors that were in this one was no good. Now, the fuel rail gets screwed down right here. Okay. Um, this actually gets placed onto the cylinder head right here. Now, I've never had this problem, but I've seen it happen and I've removed and replaced plenty of broken intakes somehow um people tighten this down hello people tighten this down and they end up cracking these ears off on the ends how i don't know um i've seen these things stripped off here multiple times also if you're over tightening that and stripping that out props to you you're pretty strong but it happens okay so basically this gets installed on here this is what it looks like when it has a fuel rail on it and a fuel injector seated down into it, okay? Um, just take your time when you're doing this. Make sure you have a good clean surface. This has part of the gasket on here still. Clean, clean this, clean that, put your gasket on. Get your bolt started. Make sure this sets tight up against so there's no gap and tighten your bolts evenly across here and you won't damage one of these, all right? That's an intake. That's what stuff comes off of it does and uh, where all the vacuum lines get hooked.